Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon, and if you're returning, then welcome back. Um, so today I am going to be talking about my Holy Grail products, the ones that are not super expensive and that I use on either a regular day basis or a regular weekly basis. So if you want to know what products I use to, you know, get my hair like this, then continue to watch. Alright everyone, so like I said, today I am going to be talking about those products that I absolutely love that when I run out, I go and I buy more. Um, first, let me apologize for my voice. I know I'm going to sound probably a little nasally. I am in the middle slash end of this cold that I've literally been going back and forth with. But I wanted to make sure I got a video out, so just please excuse all this. But so, like I was saying, um... I've been trying out a lot of products lately, and though most of them are good products, it doesn't mean a lot of the time I film the video with them, and then I'm kind of just like, okay, I'm going to put it on the shelf, and if I run out of my favorite product, here's my backup product. So though they're great products, and you know, they work, and I enjoy them for when I use them, they are not the product that I really like. This is what I'm going to go to every day. This is, this is it. So the products that I um, use are, I believe they're all under $25. There's one product that I'm a little iffy about, but I'm pretty sure they're all, if anything, they're all under $30 easily. Um, these, so these are more affordable. I will do another video with more high-end products um, that are a little bit more expensive, but a lot of the times, like with makeup, you can get great quality um, products and such without having to pay a huge price tag. So, yes. All the products that I'm showing today um, can be found between Target and Walmart, most of them at Target. If not at Target, then definitely at Walmart. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I do, this is actually something that I just got and I'm obsessed with, and it's not really a product though. It is my new spray bottle. You guys, I have been sleeping. So I usually have a normal, um, so I had a normal spray bottle uh, that I, I I moved and then I couldn't tell you where it's at. It's probably somewhere though. And then I just used one of my setting spray bottles, which let me tell you guys, even though it worked, it got my hair wet. It's not meant to make your hair wet. So kind of sucked. Um, so then I went on Amazon. I actually saw um, Jasmine use one of these, the other YouTuber, use this and I was like, why not? And when I tell you guys, this thing like does like a continuous spray. Like that was just like one one shot, and it's so good, and it's a mist, so it's not gonna sit there and soak down one spot um, unless you continuously spray at that one spot. So I really enjoy it. Um, I got that off of Amazon. It was like five bucks. So yes, if you're looking for a new spray bottle, I'm I think you could find it in store, maybe at Sally's or something. I know Sally's has a lot of spray bottles but I just didn't I'm lazy and didn't want to go to the store so I got it off of Amazon um so yeah <laughs> excuse me so my first product that I want to talk about is the refreshing spray that I have been obsessed with um I know I use it if I'm going out and I know I'm going to be out for a while and my curls may get a little crazy or it's hot or it's raining Something where my curls may need a little bit extra. Um, it is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Oil Shine and Mist. I believe I've talked about this before. If I know I've talked about it before. I just don't remember which video. But yes, um, I've used several different refreshing sprays. This was like $6. Super affordable. It has a great smell and it works amazing. Um, I like the spray bottle. Everything about it is just great so for refreshing sprays i highly suggest this all right on to the next so another product that i have talked about before so these are products that i've actually um the first three products i'm showing you guys are the products i'm wearing right now these are literally my everyday go-to this is what i'm wearing so the next one is the curls blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner i don't know why i got caught up on that um, yes, this thing smells, I think this one is the one that smells, 
Yes, smells just like the gel. The gel one of this smells a little weird. Um, this smells like blueberries. It smells amazing. I love things that smell good in my hair. It's like wearing a perfume in your hair, but it's good for your hair because perfume has alcohol and you don't want to spread it in your hair. Anyway, hold on to something. Um, I love using this. It is lightweight. I use it in my son's hair. I use it in my hair. Xavion has a product similar to this from the curls line that he uses in his hair. We are, we are just all in love with the Blueberry Bliss line. Um, I did review the other, I don't even remember what it's called. It's somewhere over there. The other curls, like the Goddess Curls and something else that I didn't care for. Um, it's still up there. I just don't use it. Uh, but I highly, highly recommend their Blueberry Bliss line. You could literally just go to the store and buy this and it's gel and be set. This one is a little bit more expensive. I know the gel is more expensive. Actually, I don't think this one is. The gel is more expensive. But I found this at Target. Um, I don't know if they sell it at Walmart. And of course, all these things you can get online too. That's not an issue. Um, but I did get this one at Target and I love it. The next one actually fell on the floor is of course the Camille Rose Curl Maker. This is my holy girl product. Um, it retails for about $22. I got it at Target. I know they are expanding. I follow them on Instagram and I see it all the time that they're expanding what stores they're in. So that is great. I love it. Um, I did go to my local Sally's and they actually don't carry the Curl Maker at my Sally's. I don't know about the other ones. They carry the other line. So, uh, well, they carry Camille Rose but not this pink one it's like purple um so this one is great i love it it is lightweight it is like it's like a foundation it's lightweight and full coverage at the same time no but it's great for your hair it feels great it smells great like i literally have no complaints about it i feel like i the only thing is i feel like i go through a lot of it and it is it's 12 ounces this is 8 fluid ounces and this is 8 fluid ounces. So this has more in it. But I just, I think because I use it so much, I love it and I go through it like there's no tomorrow. So these three products are the ones that I literally, I probably have in my hair. If you met me in person, I would most likely have those three in my hair. Now I do have like honorable midgets that I like as well. Oh, it's getting hard to talk. My throat is like, stop. Anyway, so the ones that I like on the side, I've also done a review on. One of them is missing. Hold on one second. I'm going to get it. <clears throat> okay. So the other one is the Curling Custard Original from Kinky Curl. Or Kinky Curly. I don't know why I just want to say Kinky Curl. Maybe it's because it's my page. I don't know. Um. Anyway, so... I like this one. It's great for your hair. It's lightweight. I'm just so obsessed with this that I haven't transitioned into this. But if I run out of this, I'm definitely going to use this as my backup. Or I may just use it in between. Um, I do really love it. Um, it. I have long work days. So I need products that are really going to sit in my hair. Because I, I really don't have time to sit there and worry about what's in my hair. So, these are the products. This one... And of course, I love their Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. I've been using this really as a detangler, and it works great, as well as a leave-in. They both are great. I like that line a lot. It's super affordable. Um, I believe this was the most expensive, and it was $16.99 out of the two of them. I don't remember how much this one was, but I just did a video on these two previous videos to this where I say the prices in them. Um, but those are more of my, this is my main and then my backup, like how you have your main makeup routine and then you got your backup makeup routine. That's how it is for me. Um, but yes, yeah, so these are my favorite, where's my other one? This one, these are my favorite, oh my goodness. I, I, when it comes to my hair, if it works, it works. Um, I'm not somebody who's like, I'm only going to use curl maker, or curls or can too in my hair at one time. I have done it where it's like product review and I only use their line just because when you read directions, they tell you like, hey, pair this with this, pair this with that. But it doesn't always end up that way, obviously. So yes, so those are my holy grails, my go-tos, my everyday routine, how I achieve my curls every day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know what your holy grails are. If it's something I haven't tried, I'm always open to trying out new products. So 
if you guys DM me, send it to me on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, on basically any platform, I will at least try it. I can't guarantee that I will love it, but I will try it. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my holy grails, my go-tos, my one and onlys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of January. The month is almost over mind-blowing but if you did enjoy the video please do not forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time